I screwed up and made a mistake. And unlike many of these other YouTubers in the finance space who never want to admit it when they're wrong, many of you guys know me. Whenever I'm wrong, I have no problem admitting it and apologizing and explaining my mistake. Now, I don't think that my mistake warrants an apology, but I am going to go ahead and just, you know, expound on where I went wrong. And, you know, I'll just I will apologize. I'll, I'll say if I offended anybody, uh, I do apologize because that's not what I'm about. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Right. So. I made a video titled, Don't Ever Quit Your Job. And this came from a rant that I did in a live stream last week where, you know, I'm just, I was just so fed up because you have a lot of these get rich quick gurus in the finance space who, you know, and Andrew Tate does this too. You know, there's just a lot of popular people on social media who try to who try to preach to people and make you think that if you work a job, you're a slave, or if you work a job, you're a loser. Oh, look at you, you, you clown loser gremlin, you working a job like job like a bum. Uh, I, I, I'm a multimillionaire because I sell my grifter course. It, it just, it's just not a good look. You know what I mean? And, and, and it really upset me. So part of my rant was in retaliation to a lot of this foolishness that you see on the internet. However, I made a mistake. I went a little bit too far and I kind of made it seem like nobody in life should ever quit their job and should ever pursue something better than working for somebody else or ever be an entrepreneur or ever be in control of your own life or your own destiny. And that's really not what I was trying to do. So again, I do apologize for that. And I want to just correct myself and kind of expand further. So the way that I look at it when I, and by the way, that was a bad title too. I shouldn't have even made the title saying, don't ever quit your job because, you know, obviously if you got bigger dreams than working for somebody else, then, you know, as long as you got a plan, you know, in, in, in your second idea is successful and it's taking off, then yeah, you could quit your job. My bottom line was you had a lot of YouTubers who, you know, they blew up fast on YouTube during the pandemic. And their channels took off and they all quit their jobs. And now they're trying to tell other people, oh, you should, you know, quit your job. Stop living in a matrix, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, that, that, that that's part of what made me upset. But I, I do want to say this. Shout out to all the entrepreneurs out there, because trust me, I had people email me and say, hey, man, I didn't like your video. I'm an entrepreneur. I quit my job 10 years ago, and it was one of the best decisions I ever made in my life. I make 10 times more than I made in my job. My boss was an a-hole. They didn't care about me. When I resigned, they locked out access to my computer immediately. They showed me they didn't care about me. I completely understand that. So, so I do want to give credit to some of the people who are truly seeking entrepreneurship and truly do not want to work a job. So, so I guess the best way I can say it, right, is... Working a job, um, or I'm sorry, being an entrepreneur is not for everybody, okay? I guess that's really where I'm getting at. I, I just want to make it clear that I'm not a fan of people who, who shame people for working a job. And I feel like that's the culture we live in now. People really try to shame people for working hard or working a job. They, they try to make it seem like if you're not successful in life or a multimillionaire or a grifter or somebody that is an entrepreneur, you're a loser. And, and, and it's just not true. You know, that's what really upset me. But I, I guess ultimately I will say this. I'll revise a little bit of what I said. If, if, if you work a job right now and you absolutely hate it and you're like, you know what? Working a job is just not for me. I just, I'm just not destined to work for somebody else. I don't want to work for somebody else. I don't want to work for the man. I want to be in control of my own destiny. Then more power to you. And I think you should go ahead and pursue that if that's something that you really want to do. And, you know, my original video wasn't towards you. You know what I mean? Like that wasn't really what I was going for when I made that video. But but I do want to say, I, I know that part of the reason why everybody, or at least many people in the finance community, is because they are looking for financial independence. They're looking to be financially free. They want to live a life where they could buy whatever the heck they want, they can do whatever the heck they want, and they don't have to answer to nobody. And and, and, I, and I failed to recognize that in the original rant that I, that I went on. Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Mint Mobile, a mobile virtual network operator that provides wireless services on the T-Mobile network. Hey everyone, if you've ever found yourself thinking, why on earth is my wireless bill so dang high, then you're in for a treat. Today I'm partnering with Mint Mobile to show you how you can save big on your mobile plan without sacrificing quality. You might have seen those hilarious ads featuring Ryan Reynolds, who also happens to be one of the owners of Mint Mobile. But let me go ahead and dive deeper into why their service is truly awesome. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month, and you don't have to compromise on your coverage, your speed, 
or data. They operate on the nation's largest 5G network, so you're getting top-notch service. And the secret to their low prices? Well, they sell directly to you online, cutting out the retail stores and the salespeople and passing on the savings right on to you. All Mint Mobile plans include unlimited nationwide talk and text, lightning fast 5G, and free mobile hotspot. They even offer a modern family plan, making it super affordable to set up a family plan with as low as two lines. So if you want reliable coverage, fast data, and unbeatable prices, head on over to mintmobile.com slash echoes, also linked down in the description. Click my link below, sign up today, and you can go ahead and get started and get you some nice low prices. Okay, back to the video. So I just want to make it clear that although I like Andrew Tate's message, I like the message of escaping the matrix because there is a matrix. There's this matrix of, you know, you live, you work your crappy job, you make just barely enough to get by. You're never going to be able to afford your dream car. You're never going to be able to afford your dream house. You're never going to be able to live a life where you, you're not dependent on a job. I, I understand that that mind of thinking. I think it could be poisonous when you try to shame people, but I, I think that way of thinking overall, okay, is it, it, good. I, I think it is good because there are a lot of people, you know, in America who are miserable. They really are. A lot of people in America are lonely. They're miserable. They're working jobs that they hate. Most places that I go to, the people that work there are miserable. And it's not just like McDonald's. It's like, I go to like the government jobs and those people are miserable. You know, if I go to like the freaking county clerk's office to like do some paperwork or something, those people are miserable. When I go to like a bank, those people are miserable. Like, like I get it. A lot of people are working jobs that they hate. They hate their lives. They don't feel like they have any purpose or meaning. They don't feel like they have any structure. They feel like they're just spinning a hamster wheel. They don't feel like they're really going anywhere. They're just going to work every day and punching a freaking clock. There's no purpose. There's, there's no anything where they wake up happy to go to work work. And that's why I recognize that my own, you know, ignorance comes in because for me personally, I really like my job, you know, like it, it's, it's really not that bad. Like, you know, but, but, but I will say this, I will be honest. If I had the option to completely be an entrepreneur and run my own business or run my own company or, or be a full-time YouTuber, I don't know, let's say I'm making $2 million on YouTube a year, whatever it is that makes you financially free. Let's say I do graphic design again and that takes off. If I had the opportunity to do that and not work a job, I would do it too. So, so I do want to make that clear. I don't, I don't want to sound like a dream killer here, but I, but I think I just wanted to make it clear to everybody that, you know, it, there's nothing wrong with working a job. You know, if you're happy and content with the job that you work, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're also somebody who seeks something better and you want to go higher and above and you're that type of person who says, well, forget that average middle class life. I don't want to be average. I don't want to be the average guy that buys a $200 house, do a $200,000 house because that's all I can afford. I'm driving a regular Toyota. I got my wife and kids and I could barely afford them and I don't have a crap ton of money and I got my 401k. You know, you know, there's nothing wrong with that type of thinking if that's what you want. If you want a better life, if you're one of those people, which don't get me wrong, most people want it. They just don't know how to get it. You know, if you're one of those people who say, you know what, I want my dream car. I want my dream house. I want to be able to buy whatever I want. I want to be able to buy designer clothes, whatever you want. And so for that, I'm going to work my butt off to escape the matrix, to escape the rat race. I completely understand that thinking. And I want to make it clear that I do support that. I just wanted to be more realistic because I think even some of you guys in the entrepreneur community have to admit that entrepreneurship is not for everybody. And most people just aren't cut out for it. Most average people are destined and cut out to work a job. They're not cut out to be an entrepreneur. Technically, I'm an entrepreneur, okay, because I'm doing the YouTube thing and I have a second channel that I'm running. It, it, I'm working more hours doing that than I do working a job. Matter of fact, when I used to do graphic design, one of the reasons why I left and I got burnt out from that, I was working like 14-hour days. I was working so hard on that. I was doing that more than I was doing the job. The job is only eight hours. The graphic design being an entrepreneur is 14 hours. Because when you're when you're an entrepreneur, you have to do everything. You know what I'm saying? When you're your job, you just punch a clock, go to work, come out. HR handles the rest. CEO handles the rest. When you run your own business and you're an entrepreneur, and keep in mind, most businesses in the United States don't have any employees. Most businesses in the United States are just one person. So if you're a one-man business, you got to do everything on your own. You got to be the chief marketing officer. You got to be the chief operating officer. You got to be the chief executive officer. You got to be your own HR. You got to be your own production. You, you have to do everything. So most entrepreneurs 
on average, are working way more than a regular job. But yeah, that's I guess yeah. I, I think that's the I think that's the main part of my rant. I don't want to rant too much, but I just want to get it out that you know there's nothing wrong with seeking to do better than getting a job. I was just really sick of everybody trying to shame people. These losers who have no skills used to work at a freaking gas station, used to drive Uber, used to freaking work at Jamba Juice. You know, all of a sudden get on the internet, blow up on YouTube, make all this money, and now they're trying to shame people. Like, dude, half the people that you're trying to shame for working a job are doing better than you were. You were freaking working at freaking Wendy's. Like, at least they're doing something decent. Like, I don't know. It, it, that's just my thing. So, anyway, that's my uh, spiel. Uh, I apologize to anyone that I offended. I, I think I did make a mistake. I should have done a better job of bridging both sides because if you're content with your job and you're happy, that's fine. If you're content with you know, leaving your job, but you don't want to work a job, you want to be an entrepreneur, that's fine too. That's really all I'm trying to get at. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, like, share, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.